I can't tell you how excited I am. Uh, it has been a two-year build, and so we have been out of our home here on Center Street for two years. And yeah, that was interrupted by the pandemic, and yes, we had a beautiful place where we could be you know, renters for a little while, but to be home is something that I think everybody is gonna feel when they walk through these doors. Uh, it is a building that's built for artists. It's built for our community specifically. You know, for years we were at C.E. Mason Elementary, which was a cool old building, but built to be an elementary school in the 1940s. And we are not an elementary school from the 1940s, although we can play one on stage if you ask us to. Uh, instead, we're an art school, and to have a school building built with the studios that we need, with the rooms that we need to have for the students to create art can be just a, an overwhelmingly good thing for kids. My name is William Leonard, I'm in 8th grade, and I go to ACMA. ACMA is the best place for me to continue this artistic path because the community cares about the arts and I'm very glad to be a part of it. And some of the creative spaces are new. A design lab, which is brand new. Uh, three amazing dance studios, which We've never had something like this before. I am an actor and a visual artist. My name is Ada Pointer. I am a senior and I go to ACMA. In this new space, one of my favorite parts is that we have a stage in our commons slash cafeteria area where you can do open mics or just small performances. I think that is amazing that we added that in. <laughs> I'm really excited to work in this space for drawing and painting, mostly because there is a lot more of it so we don't have to like cram everything together and also because it's just a nice, big, open space. All the stuff that we wanted to do, it's possible now. Yeah, the old building did have a charm to it, and there's no denying that. Our students would have lunch on the floors leaning against wainscoting for decades. Our arts and communication kids did that. And one of the first questions that I get from alumni when they hear about the new building is, will kids still be able to eat in the halls? And, and the answer is going to be a short yes, although they'll also have the option for a commons and a, a kind of more updated version. And, you know, we wanted to make sure that we brought some of that old building with us because it is something that we care a lot about. And so that wainscoting that kids leaned up against in the hall it shows up in this building. We've repurposed it at the circulation desk in the library and the main desk it's the first thing you see when you walk into the office and over in counseling and I think those little familiar touchstones will make a big difference. Our old campus was small and felt small but it was even more separated because we had to have portables and the hallway was a mile long. This new building builds on that intimacy. It's actually footprint is a little bit smaller than our old one if you just look at the footprint. It's two stories, so we get more space, but that closeness that the building can help to support should still be there. At the old campus, we it was all kind of spread out. We had portables, and so you couldn't see people dance, and you couldn't really see people doing art in their art classrooms. Um, but now we're kind of all in this one building together, which is really nice to kind of, you can see and check in on people and see what they're doing. And, get inspired by that. I think the arts are, are vitally important to us as humans. And they're certainly important to us as a society. If we have a society with vibrant arts, arts that are supported, arts that help us reflect on ourselves, that makes us better as a society. Even if we're detached from the artist, we don't know who the artist is, but we see that art and it asks and invites us to reflect on ourselves, maybe inspires or prompts us to think differently or aspire to something different. I think art has the ability to make those differences that nothing else in the world has. There's a value to arts 
And Beaverton School District recognized that. And to have that recognition of it, I think is validating for us as a school and should be, and I think will be, encouraging for our students, every one of them, as they seek to build their own artistic life.